Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new vlog. Today I thought maybe we should speak a bit about my accident because I'm not sure uh, that all of you guys know what's happened to me. So I, I think that's about time that, uh, that you get to know. Uh, so you can know me a bit better as well. So it all started with the year 2006. By then I was 17 years old. And uh, I had a summer break from school and uh, yeah, me and some friends went to a, 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 a summer a town in, in Sweden, you could say, uh, that's called Varberg. And uh, we, it, it was a car and uh, flying airplanes uh, yeah, exhibition, you could say, in, in the whole town. So it was a big, uh, uh, yeah, big like a festival, but with cars and, uh, and airplanes. Uh, and um, yeah, it. Uh, I, I I was 17 years old, and I had spoken to to my parents about this uh, about this festival, and uh, actually they they disagreed with me going to the to this festival. But uh, yeah, as you maybe know, when when you're young and um, and 17, you you think you're grown up and can make your own decisions. So I, I, I went to this festival uh, even though I, I didn't have the permission from, from my parents. So I went with my friends and, uh, and we were looking, I uh, we went to Varbe and we were looking at all these cars and had a really good time actually. Um, but during the, the night evening uh, I, I started to get quite tired because uh, I've been up early the same morning and, and working on my summer job. So I've been up for like uh, 20 hours or so, so I start to feel really, really tired. And um, when, um, yeah, so, so I decide that I need to, to go home and sleep in our tent that we had. Uh, but, but my friends think it's uh, way too early to, to go home. So it all ends up with uh, me walking home uh, alone. And... Um, yeah, when I'm when I'm walking and, and starts to get quite quite close to our tent, I I see some guys walking behind me. It's three guys, and uh, I get this really strange feeling that yeah, something isn't really right here. Uh, so I, I walk some more, and uh, that feeling just grows, uh, and uh, uh, I finally get the feeling that uh, yeah, these these guys they're they're actually following me. And um, I, I started thinking a uh, thousand thoughts in my head and uh, finally I came to the conclusion that I, I won't go to the tent because then they will just follow and then it will be, yeah, it, it will get yeah, messy, you could say, uh, by the tent. So it's better that I just continue walking and try to shake them off and, and then I can come back to the tent uh, later on. Um, so I continue walking uh, and... Uh, after that, it's just totally black. I can't remember a thing after taking that decision. So I don't really know what's happened. Uh, but um, yeah, after the accident, I, I tried to collect all, all kinds of data and info about, about my accident to just understand what could have happened. But uh, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. But what I think has, uh, has happened is uh, that I... I continued walking as I uh, as I took the decision, and um, I think something has happened with those guys walking behind me. So I think that I've start started running, and um, I'm uh, I was a, a quite quite good long distance runner. So I think that I've outran them. But when I'm running, I'm uh, crossing some train tracks, and um, I'm not sure. But somehow uh, in the dark, I, I think that I've uh, fell on the tracks. Maybe I was looking behind at the same time uh, that I kicked my foot in, in the tracks and uh, then I'm, I'm falling and I hit my head in something, probably a big stone that totally, yeah, it, it, uh, it crosses my forehead. So I pass out with uh, the legs still on the tracks. Um, and um, yeah, I probably uh, lie there for, for uh, one hour or two hours before a cargo train comes into Varberg this uh, actually during the night uh, this time 
and uh, yeah, the train driver, he knows that it's a lot of people in, in movement in, in Varbase this particular, particular night. So he goes uh, much slower compared to what, what he used to do on the same, on the same distance uh, or in the same area. Uh, but unfortunately I, I'm, I'm lying in uh, like a corner of the tracks and, and it's also um, quite bad sights because it's uh, lots of bushes and uh, yeah, stuff ar uh, around the track. So it's uh, bad sights. So when he sees me, he sees that I'm I'm lying, um, yeah, with the uh, with the face down in the uh, in the ground and and the legs are all, all over the tracks. So yeah, he he tried to do everything uh, to stop the train, but uh, by then it's it's impossible. So so he um, uh, he can't stop the train uh, and uh, he drives over me and uh, yeah, the train uh, immediately uh, amputates both my legs. Uh, yeah, the both legs on, on the same height in the beginning, uh, so right above the, the knee. Uh, and uh, um, as I mentioned, I was just with the, with the legs on the tracks, but somehow uh, the arm got in under as well. Probably it was uh, I had jeans on me that uh, that particular night, and probably when when the train passes me my jeans get like stuck in the wheels of, of the train so when it passes me the the whole my whole bad body is thrown towards the train again and then also the left arm got in under and also got amputated quite high um, so I have like 10 15 centimeters still left on on, on my left arm and uh, yeah it got got amputated as well then uh, and uh, yeah the the train driver finally get uh, get uh, stop stops the train and he he calls uh, yeah everything to to site and the first one on 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 the site are three policemen actually and um, uh, yeah they they go and speak with the train driver and and then go go behind the train to to try to find me and uh, yeah actually they it, it i have spoken with these policemen afterwards and i have understood that it was wasn't quite a quite a pleasant sight uh, behind the train um so n no more details there but they finally find me and uh, they were like um, they couldn't understand how i was still alive because because it was a really cold summer night so they could when, when they saw my my body they, they could see that I was still breathing because it, it was like a fog coming out of my mouth uh, in this summer night. Um, and uh, yeah, then, then they do everything totally perfect. So they, they um, uh, try to, to close uh, all my wounds uh, for, for the bleeding, to, to stop the bleeding as much as possible. Uh, and uh, of course they, they call everything again and, and try to... Um, yeah, recall ambulances and, and such, cause, cause before they found me, uh, uh, they all thought that it's it's impossible that him or her that's been on, under the train is is still alive, but but when they find me, they, they recall all the ambulances and, and everything, and and they're going to the sites uh, in a hurry, of course, and um, yeah, by then they close all, all my amputation to, to stop the bleeding and uh, then finally the ambulances uh, got got to the site and, and they take over and uh, then it's just full speed up to up to Gothenburg to to the university hospital uh, uh, where uh, yeah they can uh, how to say they the doctors say that I, I, I had Two less of blood still in my veins when I came into the hospital, but but still my heart kept on pumping, even though I had two less of, of blood, and uh, that was mainly due to that I was uh, quite fi fit from all my swimming before this accident. So uh, yeah, I, I survived due to that, and uh, yeah, and then I also get some complications on the hospital. I get uh, uh, I think it's called a wound fever. I'm not sure, but uh, really high, and I had, um, um, yeah, some other things, and 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 uh, the hit in in my head was really severe also. So, th yeah, the doctors had had no clue if I had brain damage as well, 
Um, so yeah, it was it was really close, and uh, I think it was yeah many factors. This particular uh, summer night that that made that I could survive. I, I had uh, I had really luck. Um, as I said, uh, my heart heart kept on pumping even though I had too less blood. The policeman on site made uh, did everything totally perfect to to save my life. Otherwise, I. I wouldn't have been sitting here and also just because it was a, a cold summer night made it, it took a bit longer before the bleeding from all three places starting to, to get severe because because when when I was amputated the, the my body get, got into some kind of shock so it uh, the body itself closes all the wounds and, and um, shuts down the bleeding itself uh, for for quite a long time uh, until until uh, until the policeman came to, uh, on site. My own body had had shut off all the bleeding, and when the policeman uh, came came to site, it all started to to bleed. And uh, and then the policemen were on site and and took over and helped. And and then I I got all the best all the best. Um, uh, yeah, on on hospital as well. So uh, yeah, I was really really lucky, and uh, yeah, it feels like it was yeah something else. It feels like it was impossible. And actually, a doctor told me after the accident that with these conditions that that you were into, it, it's it it it's impossible to survive. But still, still you did. And uh, another doctor has told me afterwards that. Yeah, maybe it's one one percent survival rate of uh, of an uh, accident like this, uh, but but you survived and and you took that uh, that percent and and survived this accident. So I'm I'm really grateful uh, to to sit here today and um, yeah, I'm so happy that it didn't end that day uh, in um, yeah. 14 of uh, 14 of July 2006 so it it was a big day and and today it's uh, I, I celebrate this day because it's uh, as my friend Cameron Clapp told me it's it's your survival day so it seems to be celebrated because because uh, otherwise you wouldn't be here and uh, yeah life is life is fantastic and uh, uh, you need to do the best of it. Even though I l lost two legs and uh, and one arm, I I won my my life back, and that's really important. So hope uh, hope you enjoy this, and um, yeah, maybe I can I can go into details more if you if you want. To. In that case, comment comment below, and I will talk a bit more about it. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. In if it's come up with any other question, just comment them, and I will bring them up here in the blog. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and over and out from Halmstad, Sweden. <laughs>